Hey, what's up? It's Mark at Alchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today, I am going to show you how to set up Tailwind CSS and Post CSS in a new Phoenix app. So we'll start by creating the app, mixphoenix.new. Since this is for Tailwind, we need something related to wind. So tornado, actually no, do a Zephyr. And once that's generated, then once it's generated, we'll go into the newly created directory. I'll open up the, the tab so we can see all our stuff. Yeah, it looks like we've got a new app. We need to go into the assets directory. And from there, we use npx. If you're not familiar with npx, just Google it. It's pretty easy to get set up. It lets you install uh, various, uh, various tools that you can run from your command line. Well, npx tailwind CSS init. That next thing we'll do is you'll see we have a tailwind.config.js that's been created by it. We have a webpack config, but we don't have a post CSS config, and actually we haven't even installed post CSS. So let's get that now with yarn. We'll do yarn add d to add in development. Uh, let's get tailwind first. So tailwind CSS. PostCSS is one of Tailwind's uh, dependencies, so we're going to need three things related to that. PostCSS loader, which is for Webpack. PostCSS import, so that we can use import statements. And then finally, we need uh, purge CSS. We don't need it, but without purge CSS, Tailwind CSS is pretty big. Purge CSS will cut it down to just the styles you're using. It's usually an extremely small asset file then. So yarn add dash D full human is the uh, is where the repo is. Post CSS dash purge CSS. Okay, we've got all of those added. Let's go back to our webpack config. And in our config, we need to make, actually let's just full screen this here. And in our config, we need to add post CSS loader. We'll go right here after CSS loader, post CSS loader. And the order is significant. Basically, everything in here gets done in reverse order. So post CSS uh, conversion gets done first and then CSS, which is has got to be that way since post CSS will spit out CSS. Then we need to create a new file for the post CSS config that'll still go in the assets directory, and it is postcss.config.js. This is where we configure all the plugins. So we'll have a module.exports, and in the exports, we'll have a plugins list here, or array. Sorry, this is JavaScript. And that's going to include post CSS import, and it's going to include Tailwind CSS, and it's also going to include auto prefixer. Auto prefixer. I'm not sure why that's not auto completing, but I believe that's correct. And then finally, purge CSS. Purge CSS. And we've got to set that up since Perch CSS isn't defined here. It has options of its own that will set up like this. Const purge CSS is require full human post CSS purge CSS. And then we'll pass in our options in an object like this. The content, and this is just what it's going to be watching. Since Perch CSS is for making sure we're only including the styles we use in our bundle, we've got to tell it where we're using CSS, where, which files we need to look at to know uh, which styles are being used that we can put into our bundle. So one is going to be in the, it's going to be all the templates, so html.eex. And if we're using live view, we would need one for leex as well. Then, Let's see, we've also got views. So that would be views slash anything dot ex, and then possibly, or very likely in JavaScript. So JS slash, actually this is just single dot. So we're in the assets directory here. So in the assets directory is 
a JavaScript directory that we need everything from, .js, and if, obviously if we have TypeScript, we change that to TS. Um, we're also looking one level up, so this would be within Phoenix, we're looking at all the templates and all the view files, since that's the places where we could have CSS being defined. Okay, uh, actually not okay. In addition to the content, we need a default extractor. The default extractor is content, content dot match, and then uh, regex where we're grabbing the word characters, dashes, slashes, and colons at least one of those and then we also have a look ahead in it this this regex is a little bit hairy you can copy it from the show notes in the episode on alchemist.camp though once i put it up there and do that globally and if there's no match do nothing okay that should work oh we've got to save this file as well and finally, if we want to see any of this in action, we're going to have to change our app.css. Uh, right now it's importing phoenix.css. This has a bunch of things in it that we don't necessarily want. We probably don't want if we're building something with Tailwind. So I just deleted the whole phoenix.css file. We'll get rid of that. And then what Tailwind's instructions say to do is Tailwind and base, like so, Tailwind components and tailwind utilities and uh, utilities and this basically all works it's just that we've got that post css import library because we want to be able to break our app.css up into lots of files and then import them uh, just like that import phoenix.css that we had at the top we want to be able to do that with our tailwind components that phoenix.css import wasn't broken at all, but if we were to use apply inside of a component, then we wouldn't be able to import that apply into this file. So the choice is either we do all of the applies, like everything we're extracting out into our own components in this file, or else we change the syntax to an import syntax. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna say, so we'll just make all of this a big comment. And in the comment, we'll say, uh, instead of this files for main CSS application, we'll say, this uh, won't work since we want post CSS import. Uh, so we can use apply inside included files. All right. The way we can do it is we just use imports. So import tailwind CSS, have to have the CSS in there, slash base, and import tailwind CSS slash components, and then import, as you probably guessed, tailwind CSS slash utilities. Let's save that and actually get out of full screen here and see if we can run our app and see that, see that anything works at all. So we'll have to get back to our main directory, then iex-s mix phoenix.server. Ah, database doesn't exist. Of course, mix ecto.setup. All right, and we'll go to localhost 4000. And it looks like we've successfully removed the Phoenix styles and we have something up there. I'm just gonna paste in a really simple index.html.eex. So we'll go to index, let's see the page templates one. All right, replace all of that with this really simple uh, just a section, Phoenix class, or Phoenix hero, and we see uh, an H1, and I've got some Tailwind styles in here, text orange 500, uh, text is 5x, normal size, font bold, text center, and we'll see if we get that. We do not have the styles. Mm. 
but after rebooting the server we do so note that if I change this to 300 it should become a lighter orange right away but instead we've got nothing why is this black well that's because purge CSS is only including the styles that we're using we didn't use this style so we need to change our config just a little bit in our post CSS config JS note that we've got these various plugins and purge CSS is looking at all of these files one of which we did change we need to only do this purge in production so instead of just purge CSS here we'll change it to this which will basically include nothing so if it's in dev we're not going to purge at all but we want to purge if it's in production the way we do that is process.env.node environment equals 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 production so if it equals production then we're going to use purge CSS and if it doesn't then we won't use purge CSS so all we're doing here is instead of purge CSS always being applied it's only applied when we're in production when we're not then we're just using these three imports so we'll save that and now changes should happen instantly orange 300 let's see if we can do uh, teal so teal 300 there we go now maybe instead of just text center for this maybe we want all of the text to be center so we'll just paste that up here and all three of them are centered now um, maybe we could change this to magenta oh maybe we can't and that's because tailwind doesn't include magenta uh, we can fix that though in our tailwind config we can just add another color in here so inside theme extend colors and an object there then we can use this cool little tool that I found that's called tailwind color shades tailwind color shades I just google it it's someone's project on github and there we go let's see magenta is ff 0 ff I believe and run that yeah that looks magenta we can copy the clipboard then just paste these in here save it and now we have 100 through 900 of magenta and we have magenta in our our title here magenta 600 pretty neat that's it for today if you enjoyed the video then please tell your friends that good things are going on at alchemist.camp see you next time